Tell us about the fusion between the different musical traditions that come alive in your music. Yes, uh, when I came to America, I was uh, introduced to jazz music, mm. not because I was looking for it, but it just happened that this uh, Muslim guy, his name is Walid, mm -hmm. a bald guy who stands up at the door, he's a doorman at the Keystone Corner in San Francisco. And I used to pass by there at 11.30 at night to go to take the bus to go back to home. And I was working at a Moroccan restaurant. So when I pass by there, he sees that we are Muslims and he says, Salaam alaikum to us. We said, alaikum salam. And then he said, come in, come in. I said, we come in? He said, yes. And we go in, me and my Moroccan friend, Hussein, and we sit down and watch jazz musician play him. There was all kind of a great jazz musician. Uh, I saw Winton Marcellus when he was not known by the people. I saw uh, Dexter, Gordon Dexter. I saw uh, the drummer uh, Blakey. Mm -hmm. uh, all kind of. Then I understood. Uh, I got my first taste of jazz music. Then, mm -hmm. <clears throat> then I, I really loved that kind of music, and I wanted to take those ideas and add them to what I know already and put them together. Mm -hmm. okay. So, um, tell us about the origins of the music that you play. The origin, to go to the source, I would say when I was young, mm -hmm. um, uh, the kids they make toys back home, and the toys I was interested in making is instrument. Mm. So as to take an empty can, gasoline can, small one, mm -hmm. and I would put uh, a broomstick on it, broken broomstick, mm -hmm. small one, and I would put a, a cork from a bottle as the as the bridge, and I would put a, f a fishing line mm -hmm. as strings, and I will tighten them up and 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 play with them, mm -hmm. and not just sound, but I make melodies that I hear from the radio. Right. And uh, my father just came by chance and, and found me doing that and he took the instrument and tried to do something and he said see that was not made for me this is for you mm. so that's my the origin of how i start to play so i was from the beginning trying to make instrument and make sounds and right. play and um, how i knew i was a musician i used to go to my grandfather's land and they didn't have no electricity no running water but they had a radio battery radio and I used to play with a the dial. They don't move the dial, usually they put it in one place and it stays there. Yeah. But I was interested, there was nothing to do, it was hot, 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 and nothing to do. At lunchtime, everybody's sleeping, and I was by myself, I started playing with the dial, and I hit a channel, and uh, Ray Charles was singing mm -hmm. this song, Georgia. Mm -hmm. I didn't know English, I was seven or eight. But when I listened to that song, I started crying. Something vibrates my heart, and then I knew that I am interested in sounds and how they make emotions. And from that time, that's the origin of how I was interested in and, and, and listening to other musicians and how they express their feelings. That's my beginning. After that, I learned a lot from beggars that are going through streets, or if you take the bus to go any to any city, you sit down and through the bus come in this musician playing, they go from the front door and come out from the back door, getting money from the people, and I can listen to them and see the fingerprints of their, of their instrument where they played, because they played for so many years, mm -hmm. they live that life. Uh, so those kind of musicians, that I was surrounded with, and the culture, Moroccan culture, that every house has drums in it, and everybody's singing. So it's very rich with this. That's, that's the gift of being just being Moroccan. Tell us about your earliest childhood memory. My earliest child memory, I remember, I mean, there's a lot of memories, but there is some memories that you really like to preserve. You put mm -hmm. them in a special, if you have a special box you save that memory you want to make sure you don't lose it okay. that memory for me is i remember doing hula hoop and the hula hoop just came to morocco at that time it was new there was two kind of hulas one is wood mm -hmm. one for the grown up okay. because it's made from wood and one for the kids made from like a hose as okay. air so it's light 
and all the kids were doing the hose and turning doing the hula but I was able to do the wooden one which is big oh. and I was very young I'm talking about maybe five or six mm -hmm. and I was making that circle of wood to go around me and not just like that I, I was able to make it go from my neck all the way down Whoa. and bring it up again and then Impressive. make it go to my arm and pass through me. Uh, I can't do it now, but I don't know how I did it. <laughs> but the point in that story is there is a, it's like a performance. You are in the middle and there is a circle of people watching and saying, wow. Yeah. And so, because I remember that, I said, okay, the reason I remember this and I wanted to save this memory is because the kind of work I'm going to do, mm -hmm. it has to do with performance and, and mm -hmm. audience or people are there. Since then I knew that this is the line of work I have to do. And that's why I keep performing, whether doing Juma or doing music yeah. or, or teaching. Right. So I've been always in that kind of uh, line. So I was, uh, that memory helped me actually to, to concentrate or take, take the road without any fear that I'm going the wrong direction. And you, what's your first uh, child memory? <laughs> Cut. <laughs>